Okay, uh, we've been looking for a Corvette to, to come and highlight. We saw Jeremy uh, Welburn's 63 Corvette. Uh, he's from Lawton, Oklahoma. Yes, sir. And this is, is this like an original road race car? Well, they built five original Grand Sports in 1963, and uh, GMs had a no racing uh, policy at the time. So they told Zora Dantov, the chief engineer, to destroy all five of them. Oh, wow. Well, he said, no way. And he, he sold them three of them to private racers. And two years later, he hid two and sold them later to Roger Penske. Oh. Okay. So this is actually, it's on a 63. It's, it's a registered 63 Corvette. It is not one of the original five. Oh, okay. But it is um, a very, very high quality replica of those original, of the awesome. chassis number one original race car. Story. It's a really cool deal. And the, the, Another thing about this car that's really special and important is that the engine in it is an L88, um, original, new old stock. It's only been in this car. It's a 69 date, date stamped L88, which is what Zora Duntoff sent to Roger Penske in 67. They, they built those, they made these L88s from 67 to 69. Right. And sent the engines to him to put in the car when he sold it to him. So that's what this has in it. So it's so now is that a 427? Yes. Okay, 427. Yep. I yep. thought I remembered the number. Yeah. And um, it's uh that was a lot of power back in the day. 506. Well, they they advertised it I think at 400 and some 435. 435. 435. 435. That's right. And um and it, they dynoed him at 560. Right. So, you know, it's <laughs> Is that not crazy? On a 2300 pound car. That made this thing a rocket ship. Yeah, it is a rocket <laughs> ship <laughs> with that engine in it. I've had it on the track and had a lot of fun with it out there and it is yeah, it'll just it'll just go all day. <laughs> now, Jeremy, tell me who did the uh, the the resto mod? Who who okay. put it in this shape? Yeah, sure. Uh Brian G uh Guardiani uh, is the gentleman that built it. He built it for a man in um, out in California about 12 years ago. And then this past January, I bought it from that individual. Oh, cool. And so that's, yeah, and that's how I wound up. Did he it. just put it up for sale online or yeah, something? Yeah, actually, or I'm a, I've, got a, I've got a 2017 Grand Sport that I had built. And then we, re we did a conversion of sorts to it, a customization to it of a replica or a tribute car to the rep to this car okay I to got the you. original and then when this came up for sale the guy that was selling it his son found me and saw what i had and he's like my dad's about to sell this car are you interested there you go so now i've got the <laughs> i've got the 17 tribute car to this car and then then i wound up getting this car that's great now what so. what made you fall in love with uh corvette um something back in your I've, childhood yeah back or? when i was a kid you know it's just just always loved Corvettes. Grew right. up in the 70s and 80s, and you know uh, those early 70s, the chrome bump, you know, the chrome oh, bumper those cars. Those great Corvettes. Yeah, that's one. I, I and, wasn't uh, so much in love with the early 80 Corvettes. Right. And, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Up until they kind of got over being silly. Yeah. Yeah, and the EPA got out of them. The yeah, government right, got out right. of the engines in right. <laughs> a little bit. We get some power in them again. God, there's so many fun stories. You already told me about the car, but. There's surely more. Well, there's a couple of there's a couple of autographs under the over here on that, the that on would the be dash. something to talk right. about. Uh, Doug Hooper and Dick Goldstrand were the two original racers for Penske in the original chassis number one car. They're the oh, ones wow. that raced that car, and they have autographed the you know the dash on this car. That's um, nice. Yeah, and one of them has passed away in the last wow. few years, and That's so sad. but it's uh, it is sad, but it's got their autographs on it, um, and and the rest of them. I mean, it's two tube uh, tubular chassis uh, frame. I mean, on it, and um, you know it's just got everything's right. Uh, minus the suspension but there's actually a gentleman in dallas texas who owns duntop motor company who actually owned one of the original grand sports you're kidding from like 67 to 69 one of the race cars right and he raced it and then he sold it oh wow. all right well several years ago he wanted to start he wanted to start building these replicas okay and right. he didn't build this one but he's uh he, he wanted to start building replicas he got in contact with gm with zora duntop's wife who was still alive at the time got licensing and he can build continuation series grand sports and so he's going to put the uh, we're going to go down and put the uh, the actual suspension on the car as well oh cool uh, that's the next step to kind of take it fun. take it up to the next level that, of, that's uh, neat you know, just kind of just, continue that story yeah that's exactly really good. and put that on it so that's that's kind of the next step for this car that's really good <laughs> um it's a really beautiful car thank you uh, it's been I, a lot I would of fun. imagine it sounds pretty good oh yeah sounds sounds amazing so um maybe i could get you to bust it off for us yeah we could do that <laughs> No, I've that's got, okay. We can. I mean, I've got to just, I've got to turn the battery on 
over there and then uh, fire it up. So if we want to do that. Original uh, old uh, not HEI ignition. I mean, this is. Yeah, it's built right. This is. Uh, it's interesting, the, of course, the the power steering over there with the access door right there where you're standing mm -hmm. to the uh, reservoir and so forth. All right, so the battery's turned back on. <laughs> you don't know how many times I've tried to start it with the battery not turned on. <laughs> I just, just don't start it with it in gear. Of course, That's you, all I care. <laughs> you, you, get, you get in the car and then it's like, ah, dad, come it and move this real quick. It's just so nice and moldy and formed and... All right, so... <sighs> And you say it weighs 2,700? Uh, 2,300 pounds. 2,300 yes, pounds. Sir. Race fuel! <laughs> C14, C12. Uh, it's it's 110 uh, regular. Well. That makes my heart happy, and uh, I'm, <laughs> Mine a, too. Always I'm puts a, a big smile block on my face. Chevy guy, 427, <laughs> aluminum headed, 427, yes, there's sir. nothing, that, it just doesn't get any better than that. <laughs>